Okay, so our final award this morning is for the Business of the Year. Last year's recipient was Luna's Mandela Gifts and Boutique, is what I call it, Cynthia B. Congratulations. All right, please stand when I call your name. The first finalist for Business of the Year is Look What I Found with Boutique. <laughs> You may recognize them as the women who always look gorgeous and trendy. <laughs> look what I found motif was nominated by Shelby Lawson, a loyal customer. Quoting her words, the owners are so kind and wonderful to shop with. They help you pick out things that look good on you, or they tell you that isn't flattering. <laughs> they are honest. It has become one of my favorite places to shop in all of Colorado. Everyone comments on how amazing the store is and how wonderful the owners are. I agree. Enough said. Help me in congratulating Look What I Found for you. The second finalist for Business of the Year is Mountain Books. And you may recognize him as the man who was just nominated for the night. He lost to his wife. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring that down uh, Too late. Uh, Matt Brooks was nominated by Angelo Bassano. It is a great accomplishment to be in business for 25 years, and Jesse reached that milestone in 2012. Dawn Smith has talked to people outside of the store who shared that they come, quote, up the hill, unquote, a few times a year for the scenery but mostly to shop at Mountain Books and to see Jesse. Where'd they go? Are they It's true, Jesse is the most interesting man in common. His personality is so magnetic, he is unable to carry credit cards. <laughs> that, that, that's a quote. Stay thirsty, my friend. Help me in congratulating Jesse McKean, owner of the For business of the year is the Mountain Connection, owner Jackie Scott. <laughs> That's a good thing because I don't want to start a feud, so we can like together. And of course, you may recognize Jackie as the wife of Jesse McKean, the most interesting man in Canada. <laughs> Uh, the Mountain Connection actually started as a conifer connection by founder Margaret Hennessy. Margaret was distressed that the local papers at the time were not supporting the nonprofits in the area sufficiently. She was particularly involved in the restoration of the Pleasant Park School and Grange and the preservation of the Yellow Barn. Jackie has continued this tradition of support to nonprofits and businesses to not only the conifer area but Evergreen and Bailey as well. Since 2003, she has been publishing our shiny, beautiful directories. Again, don't forget to make sure you're listening. Okay. And she also creates the Mountain Home and Garden Show Guide, as well as the Health and Wellness Guide. The Mountain Connection turns 20 years old next year. Please join me in congratulating all the contestants for the business of the year. Hey, Jesse, guess what? It's your turn. Not only is it my award, but it's your award. 